there would be few among us who don't enjoy a drink from time to time, or even a lot of drinks. So today, we're gonna to focus in on alcohol and how it affects our health and fitness. Although alcohol is pleasurable to drink and even has some beneficial effects in moderation, it contains no essential nutrients and reduces the absorption of many vitamins. The average Australian adult drinks the equivalent of eight litres or so of pure alcohol each year. And this is a major contributor to illness and death in the population. Heavy drinking causes various diseases and major medical problems. Updated guidelines issued by our National Health and Medical Research Council recommend a lower intake each day if we want to reduce the risk of being harmed by an alcohol-related injury or disease. The suggestion is for not more than two standard drinks a day for men and just one for women, not much at all. Like any food or drink you consume, except water, alcoholic drinks contain calories. Each gram of alcohol contains seven calories, second only to fat, which has nine calories per gram. What this means is that a small bottle of beer contains 135 calories or 560 kilojoules. Put another way, have two bottles, and that is about 10% of the average daily energy needs for an adult male. A small 125 ml glass of wine has about 85 calories. Have half a bottle and you're consuming 375 calories or nearly 1600 kilojoules. So if you're trying to shed fat, how is this affecting your efforts? In an ideal plan to lose weight, you'd aim to reduce your calorie intake by about 250 to 500 calories a day to achieve a healthy weight loss per week. Have a few drinks each day and you can see how this is going to seriously hinder your objectives. British health authorities say if you have just one pint of beer five times a week over a year, it's the same as consuming around 220 donuts annually. Here's another way of looking at it. If you want to reverse the effects of drinking by exercising, one 375 ml bottle of beer would take around 30 minutes to walk off, 17 minutes to swim off, 12 minutes to run off, or 13 minutes to cycle off. So you can see, you have to do a lot more work if you want to have a few more drinks, a lot of blood, sweat and tears in an exercise session. A few things you can do to reduce your consumption include setting yourself a limit each time you go out and stick to it. Drink slowly, consume alcohol in combination with your meal, and have a glass of water every drink you consume. And for beer drinkers, light beer contains a lot less alcohol and about 30% less calories, so it is a better option. I'm a firm believer in having alcohol-free days every week. Try to have three space during the week and just see what benefits you get with your health and fitness. So come on Australia, let's take the fat nation and turn it back into the fit nation once more. Mm -hmm.